Kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine, thy ointment savors sweetly. Therefore do the virgins love thee. Draw me, we will run after thee. What is thy name, my heart's desire? Shulamit. My name is Shulamit, daughter of Philip. The king hath brought me unto his chambers, will be glad and rejoice in thee. Leave us! Some wine to warm thy heart. Remember thy love more than wine. The righteous love thee. Ignore her. She was once a queen, now she has nothing. I cannot remain. 
my desire is leaving now, but I truly thank thee. I am black but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of cedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me because I am black, for the sun hath looked upon me. Thy heart beats fast. I fear I'm not myself tonight. <laughs> Thy heart beats for another. Thy heart beats for her! Go!
Thy heart hath become dark. What ails thee? My mother's children were angry with me. They made me keeper of the olive groves, but mine own olive trees have I not kept. Tell me, O thou whom my soul loveth, where thou feedest, where thou liest at noon, for why should I be the one veiled beside the flock of thy companions? Thou knowest not if first among women. Go thy way forth by the footsteps of the flock, and feed thy kids beside the shepherd's tent. While the king seated at his table, my spikenard descended forth its fragrance. From the Norse lots of Bar Homan.
Oh, sorry. Fear not. I will refresh it. I have compared thee, O oh my love, to the fastest steed among Pharaoh's chariots. Thy cheeks are comely with rows of jewels, thy neck with chains of stone. What gift will he give thee next? I said, what gift will Solomon give thee next? A golden chain for thy neck. We will make these chains of gold with studs of silver. Thy love gives me joy. My joy makes me free. A bundle of myrrh is my well-beloved unto me. He shall abide all night betwixt my breast. My beloved is unto me as a cluster of cypress in the vineyards of Engedi. Behold, thou art fair, my beloved, yea, pleasant. Also our bed is green. The beams of our house are cedar, and our rafters of fir. Behold, thou art fair, O my love, behold, thou art fair. Thy eyes are of those of doves. I am the Rose of Sharon, and the lily of the valleys. As a lily among fawns, so is my love among the daughters. Be gone! <laughs> As the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. <laughs> I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand doth embrace me. Am I not worthy of thy affection? When will I be called to Solomon's bed? 
My king's desire is my pleasure too. <laughs> Solomon enjoys deflowering virgins most, so thy time will come soon enough. But there will be no pleasure for thee. Where is thy heart's desire now? <laughs> We all fear being called to his bed. Rebecca was called one night and never returned. Will this be mine own fate one day? He brought me to the house of wine, and his banner over me was love. Sustain me with cakes, comfort me with apples, for I am sick with love. I am my beloved, and he is mine. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the road and by the hand My beloved, behold, he cometh leaping upon the mountain, skipping over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young heart. Behold, he standeth behind the wall. He looketh forth through the window, showing himself through the lattice. My beloved spake and said unto me, Arise, my love, my fair one, make haste and come away. For lo, the winter is now past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers have appeared in the earth. The, the time of the singing of the birds is come. The voice of the turtle dove has appeared in our land. The fig tree put forth her green figs. And the vines and the vines in bloom yield their sweetest fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, come away.
Thee may depart to sleep now. O oh my dove, thou art in the clefts of the rock, in the hollow places of the wall. Let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice, for sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance comely. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He feedeth among the lilies. Show me my new pleasure. By night on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the broadways. I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? Is it me that thy heart desireth? Scarcely had I passed from them when I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go until I brought him unto my mother's house and into the chamber of her that bore me. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all the powders of the merchant? I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, nor wake my love, till ye please. Behold this bed which is Solomon's. 
three score valiant men are about it of the valiant of Israel. They all hold swords, being expert in war. Everyone hath his sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. King Solomon made himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. The pillars thereof he made of silver, the seat of gold, the covering of its purple, the midst thereof being paved with love for the daughters of Jerusalem. Go forth, O ye daughter of Zion, and behold King Solomon with the crown wherewith his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals and in the day of the gladness of his heart. Some wine. Until the day break and the shadows return, I will go to the mountain of myrrh and to the hill of frankincense. Has Solomon tired of thy ways? It is I that hath tired of his ways. Behold, thou art fair, O my love. Behold, thou art fair. Thou have dove's eyes behind thy veil. Thy hair is a flock of goats from the slopes of Mount Gilead. Thy teeth are a flock of sheep that are even shorn, which came up from the washing, which have all born twins, and none is barren among them. lips are like a thread of scarlet, and thy speech is comely. Thy cheeks are like a piece of pomegranate beside thy locks. 
Thy neck is a tower of David, built for an armory, whereon hang a thousand bucklers, all shields of valiant men. <laughs> Thy two breasts are like two fawns that are twins, which feed among the lips. Thou art all fair, O oh my love, there is no mark on thee. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse, with me from Lebanon. Look from the top of Amarna, from the top of Shinir and Hermon, from the dens of the lions, from the mountains of the leopards. Thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse. Thou hast ravished my heart. Thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse. Thou hast ravished my heart with one of thine eyes, with one muscle of thy neck. Awake, O north wind, and come, O south wind. Blow through my garden, and the fragrant spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruits. How beautiful are thy breasts, my sister, my spouse. Thy breasts are more lovely than wine, and the fragrance of thine ointment than all spices. Thy lips, O oh my spouse, drop as a honeycomb. Honey and milk are under thy tongue, and the smell of thy garments is like a smell of frankincense. A garden encloses, my sister, my spouse. A spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Thy plants are a paradise of pomegranates with precious fruits, cypress and spike and hard, spike and hard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, 
with all the trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloes, with all the chief spices, a fountain in the garden, a well of living waters and streams flowing from Lebanon. Let my beloved come unto his garden and eat his pleasant fruits. Thy love-filled heart shows with each step. I am come into my garden, my sister, my spouse, I've gathered my myrrh and my spice. I've eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I've drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O oh friends, yea, drink abundantly, O oh beloved ones. Great King, thou will need all thy, thy skills to keep this wild stallion tame. Guards! Yeah. I give it to thee as a symbol of uh, respect and friendship. Not only thee have the wisdom to succeed where all others have failed, I know the reward will be great if he succeeds from Hadad Nitzmite. Shall I have thee cut up and fed to my lions? Take it to my bedchamber. Thy merry dance hath brought us no pleasure. This, my king. Wounded in battle. What is thy name? Naomi. I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, 
open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. For my head is filled with dew and my locks with the drops of the night. I have put off my clothes. How should I put them on? I have washed my feet. How should I defile them? My beloved put his hand to the handle of the door and my groin tingled for him. I rose up to open to my beloved, my hands dripping with myrrh and my fingers left sweet smelling myrrh upon the key of the lock. Behold thou art fair, O oh my love, behold thou art fair. My soul went forth when he spake. I opened the bolt of the door to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn and was gone. Solomon! Solomon! I sought him, but I found him not. I called him, but he gave me no answer. Solomon! The watchmen that keep the city found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the wall took away my veil from me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye see my beloved, that ye tell him I am sick with love. Why is thy beloved more than another beloved, O thou fairest among women? Why is thy beloved more than another beloved that thou dost so charge us? My beloved is white and ruddy, the chiefest among ten thousand. His head is as the finest gold. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. His eyes are as the eyes of doves upon the brooks of waters washed with milk and fitly set. Oh, his cheeks are as a bed of spices and sweet plants. His lips like lilies dripping sweet smelling myrrh. His hands are as gold rings set with beryl. His belly is as bright ivory set with sapphire. His legs are as pillars of marble set upon sockets of fine gold. His bearing is as Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet, yea, he is altogether lovely. Such is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. Whither is thy beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? 
whither is thy beloved turned aside, that we may seek him with thee. My beloved has gone down into his garden, to the beds of fragrant spices, to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Thou art beautiful, O my love, as Terzar, comely as Jerusalem, terrible as troops with banners. Thy hair is a flock of goats from the slopes of Gilead. Thy teeth are a flock of sheep which have gone up from the washing, whereof every one beareth twins, and there is not one barren among them. As a piece of pomegranate are thy cheeks behind thy veil. There are threescore queens and fourscore concubines and virgins without number. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She is the only one of her mother. She's a choice one of her that bore her. The leaves smell sweet. The daughter saw her and declared her blessing, queens and concubines too, and they praised her. Turn away thine eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as troops with banners? I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley and to see whether the vine flourished and the pomegranates budded. Before ever I was aware, my soul put me in the chariot of my prince. This is the house of wine. Oh, it's beautiful. Would you like me to show thee? Yes, that would be nice. What would he look upon in the Shulamit? 
as it were a dance between two armies. Return, return, O Shulamit. Return, return, that we may look upon thee. Beautiful thy feet in sandals, O Prince's daughter. The joints of thy thighs are like jewels, the work of a skilled workman. Thy navel is like a round goblet which wanteth not wine. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like two young fawns that are twins of a gazelle. Thy neck is a tower of ivory. Thy eyes are like fish bulls in Heshbon by the gate of Barabin. Thy nose is a tower of Lebanon which looketh towards Damascus. Thine head upon thee is like Carmel, and thy locks of thine hair are purple of a king who is held captive in thy company. How fair and how pleasant art thou, my dearest in delights. Thy stature is like that to a palm tree, and thy breasts are clusters of grapes. I said I will go to the palm tree and take hold of the boughs thereof, and thy breasts shall be clusters of vine, and the fragrance of thy face like apple. Thy kisses are like the best wine for your beloved that goeth down smoothly, your radiant lips causing those asleep to wake. Ah. 
I am my beloved and his desire is toward me. Come, my beloved, let us go forth into the field, let us lodge in the villages, let us get up early to the olive groves, let us see if the olives bloom and the pomegranates flourish, there I will give thee my breath. The hibiscus give a smell, and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits, new and old. Oh, oh my beloved, which I have laid up for thee. Oh, that thou wert as my brother, that sucked the breast of my mother. When I should find thee without, I will kiss thee, and they will not despise me. I would lead thee, and bring thee into my mother's house. Thou would instruct me. I will cause thee to drink of spiced wines of the juice of the pomegranate. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up, nor wake my love, until ye please. Who is this cometh out from the desert, leaning upon her beloved? Set me as a zeal upon thine heart, as a zeal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death, for jealousy is cruel as hell. The lamps thereof are fire and flame. 
Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be contented. I must return on my love, for I fear the war against the Dard is not going well. We have a little sister, and she hath no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? If she be a wall, we will build upon her a palace of silver, and if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. I am a wall, and my breasts like towers since I am become in his eyes as one find in peace. Yeah. 
Solomon had an olive grove at Balhamon. He let out the grove onto keepers. Everyone for the fruit thereof was to bring a thousand pieces of silver. My olive grove, which is mine, is before me. Thou, O Solomon, must have a thousand, and those that keep the fruit thereof, two hundred. Thou that dwellest in the gardens, the friends hearken to thy voice, cause me to hear it. Make haste, my beloved, and be thou like to a fawn or to a young heart upon the mountains of spices. 